self-inflicted mistakes, or was it something Northwestern was doing defensively and, and had to get through? Yes, yeah, so, some were some were unforced, but Northwestern does a good job of getting up underneath you, and and they pressured us into some of those turnovers as well. Our our biggest thing when we get ourselves in trouble is when we try to play in a crowd and we over penetrate, over dribble, and then we allow the team to swarm on us. Northwestern does a great job with their double teams. They come very uh, fast and they have great physicality in in their traps of the post. So uh, you know we got to make sure we have outlets, understand where those are, and hopefully take advantage of some of those situations. But you know. It, for us, on the road, you have to take care of it. We did a good job of that against Illinois, and obviously we did not take care of the glass, and, and that's ultimately what cost us at the end. So if we can take care of both, um, you know, like we've done at times, we've had a pretty good chance to win the game. So you know, it's going to be important to do a better job taking care of the ball. At home, we were able to overcome it. On the road, we probably won't. What is it about? Northwestern that they've been as good at home this season as they've been? Well, they're really good, and they're shooting 44% from three in the league, and that's an incredible number that they're shooting, and uh, give them credit. They've done a great job of recruiting uh, the right guys into Chris's system. They, uh, uh, they, they have a great crowd, and, uh, you know, they've, they, once they get it rolling, Boo Boo is, you know, home road, whatever it is. He's as good a point guard as there is in the country, setting the table for all those guys, whether it's Lobs and Nicholson, whether it's hitting those shooters in stride. Barnheiser, to me, is, is one of the best players in the league. I just love that kid, uh, the way he plays, and, and they run great stuff for him. And they've got a lot of quick hitters uh, to get Langborg or their shooters uh, going from the outside. So again, it, it, it's conceptual with this team. They run so much offense. Chris does a great job with that. Uh, we just have to be on point. We got to make sure we talk. We need to be a better talking team than we were at Illinois. We missed a couple assignments just on uh, lack of communication. So that has to go up, uh, especially when you're on the road and you don't have 15,000 behind you. I know you're right in the middle of that grind right now, but did you like how you guys got back to it Monday after getting back home late and all that? Yeah, I did. We we got back at a reasonable time. I think it was about 1030 when, when we got back and it was uh, it was right back to work that next morning. And guys showed up. They We had a very long film session. We watched film for over an hour. On, uh, on Monday, and then this is a tough stretch for us. We don't have the luxury like we did last week of having hard physical practices. This is more of mental prep. We did get them up and down a little bit today. A couple guys we're being careful with right now, but generally after an off day, we do get them up and down just to, just to get a good sweat, get their lungs burning a little bit, especially on the late game. We play at 8 o'clock uh, tomorrow night, and then we're going to have to bounce back with another early evening game on Saturday. So this is, a, again, a tough stretch. I think we're the last bye week of any team in our league, and we just got to go out there and compete and, uh, and give ourselves a chance. How are the bodies holding up, Fred, with the travel and the three road games in a four-day stretch? Yeah, guys are doing okay. It's, it's, it's a resilient group. They, they, they bounce back. You know, we watched a lot of things on film, and there were several things we could have done to win that game, and that, that's what stings. That, that really hurt. Uh, you know, I'm glad we gave ourselves an opportunity and a chance against one of the top teams and one of the best venues in our league, uh, but you got to find a way to win that game. And we had multiple opportunities and chances to do it, and you know those are the things we have to find a way in these last eight games, uh, four on the road, four at home, continue to take care of, uh, of PBA and, and find a way to go out and get a couple road wins. And we, know, we knew this four game stretch was gonna be incredibly difficult with at Maryland and uh, Wisconsin, number six team at home, uh, and then two very tough road games to finish off this stretch. So just gotta go out and, and find a way, find a way to compete, give ourselves a chance and hopefully execute uh, well in the last couple minutes. Going back to Boo, you guys defended him about as well as anybody has this season. What did you do so effect effectively against him, and how do you translate that into the match? Well, he, uh, he hit seven threes against Purdue in the last one, and then was unbelievable um, in his last game against Minnesota as well. So you, you just have to try to make him take tough shots, and he's going to make some of them, and those can't get you deflated. Uh, he's so good when he gets to that right hand and his floater from 15 to 17 feet. Uh, it's a shot that nobody else in the country really shoots. And you just, again, you have to try to make those contested. And, you know, uh, you just you can't hang your head when he's out there making tough shots. You just can't give him everything. You can't give him the rim, and you can't give him uncontested threes. Uh, you just try to make him take those tough, contested mid-range shots. How good was it to see Casey kind of do what he does? Yeah, it, it was great to see Casey, and I thought it was even better that our guys looked for him and tried to find him. And once he got it going, it was great to see him knock down that first shot in the corner. And, you know, generally when he does that, he, he has a good night. So, you know, for Kaysay, uh, you know, playing with confidence, playing with that swagger, that all radiates to the rest of the team when he's in that type of, type of groove. So, 
Shannon guarded him. I mean, I talked to Brad Underwood the next day. He said Shannon came in a lot and said, I don't know how he does it. I, you know, I'm gassed. It's like the kid never stops moving. So we just have to uh, continue to find him, uh, get him off screens. But I thought our guys had made a real conscious effort to find him, especially when he got heated up. How's he like coming along? He's getting better. He's he's still not doing uh, anything live. Uh, you know, those high ankle sprains take a long time to recover from. He's, he's basically doing anything that he can right now, but not a lot of on-court movement. Um, making good progress and hopefully getting back on the court next week. How do you think you were able to respond to the adversity, the road environment, better at Illinois than in previous away games? Well, I, yeah, I, our guys, we, we talked about in that last huddle, I think there was 340 left in that last media timeout. We said they can't score. If we want to have a chance to win, they can't score the rest of the game. And we did that all the way up until three seconds left when, when, the, when the foul occurred. And that was the one point they scored. And we executed. I thought our guys did a nice job of not panicking and going out and executing, not taking quick shots, uh, but getting good uh, good looks out there. And, you know, the, the other thing that cost this guy, I mean, we were 13 to 31 at the rim in that game the other night. You find a way to make a couple of those layups. And, and again, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves right now. So, you know, getting there, you know, the offense is designed to try to get shots in that restricted area and, and open threes. Uh, we did a pretty good job. I think we made 12 threes, but when you shoot under 50% at the rim, a lot of those really good looks, uh, it's going to cost you and bite you at, at the end. So, you know, those are things we got to do better. But as far as the resolve, I thought our guys were locked in, engaged all the way through that game. And again, that's what gives you a chance to win on the road. You didn't have Jawan the first time you played Northwestern. How does that kind of change what you guys want to do on both ends? Well, we, we, we need him out there. And, you know, physicality in this league is, is better than any other in, in the country. And we're going to have to play that big lineup uh, a lot down the stretch. I don't know exactly how we'll do that with this team, what the rotations are going to look like. But Jawan just, he gives us a whole other element out there. And we need him to be a better offensive rebounder. That's things that, that he can do. And uh, we need him to be better with that. Joe, I need him on that offensive glass. I, I, I need him to help generate more offensive possessions for us uh, with those two guys. But Juwan just gives us versatility on both ends with his ability to guard pretty much one through five. And then, uh, you know, giving us the physicality, hopefully, on the glass. I think he was the one that led us with 11 uh, the other day. But yeah, he, uh, he definitely makes a difference for our team. Fred, there's like six or seven teams separated by like a game, game and a half in the Big Ten. You yourself and Northwestern's in that group as well. Do you feel like? beyond the records that all these teams are fairly even from a competitive standpoint? Yeah, I think top to bottom in this league and, you know, Purdue, Wisconsin, uh, you know, I put Northwestern in that upper tier, uh, certainly Michigan State, uh, you know, the, I think there's so much parity. Illinois is uh, is up in, the, in that group, uh, but you look top to bottom. I mean, you know, Michigan's had a lot of chances to win games and I think they've got the least amount of wins, but they've been right there in every game they played. Penn State's won a couple in a row by 15 on the road. So they're hitting their stride, playing great basketball. Minnesota, what they're doing right now, they're right in that mix. Um, you know, so everybody, yeah, it's, it's top to bottom in this league. And you better be ready uh, every time you step on the floor. Thanks, guys.